morning, Apple shares, they're down despite posting strong numbers last night. CEO Tim Cook warning that chip supply constraints could hamper iPhone and iPad sales. And joining us right now to talk about all of his top-ranked analyst, uh, Tony Sakanaki. He is uh, the senior research analyst at Bernstein. Tony, what do you make of these numbers? And, and frankly, the, the market doesn't seem to be happy with them, but they were pretty strong. Uh, good morning, Andrew. Yeah, the numbers were terrific. I mean, to have a, a company that's $350 billion in annual revenue growing 36% year over year is, is tremendous. Uh, it is interesting, as you point out, this is the third quarter where Apple has absolutely annihilated consensus expectations. And in the prior two, the stock was also down. And we're seeing pre-market indications that the stock is down uh, again this morning. And, and I think that's probably attributable to a pretty high bar. We're seeing that with some other companies this morning. Google, you know, had tremendous numbers. The stock is close to flat, Microsoft, et cetera. Um, so the bar was pretty high. I think there's also, particularly in Apple's case, this belief or fear that things can't get any better. Um, you know, their next year comparisons are going to be extremely tough in all their businesses and growth might decelerate significantly and and so investors are you know are are looking forward rather than uh celebrating the results this quarter is is what i think may be happening here so tony what's a fair value for this company and and, and what's what's your outlook at this point so um you know i think that's a, a a tremendous debate on apple historically it traded at a discount to the market markets trading at about 20 times historically it would have traded 18 19 times it's trading at 28 times right now, um, which is among the highest premiums it's ever had. And, and that's principally the concern we have in recommending the stock. Apple's a phenomenal franchise company with tremendous innovation. But if we look at its valuation versus its history, it's higher and it deserves to be higher. The question is, does it deserve to be this much higher? Uh, we're more comfortable at a valuation around 25 times, which takes us to our price target around $130, $132. I would note that, you know, companies like Google and Facebook are trading at considerably lower multiples than Apple are and have equal or superior revenue growth. Um, And so, again, it's, it's it's not our belief that Apple is a weaker company per se, but the choice for portfolio managers is which stocks do I buy based on fundamentals and valuation? And right now, we believe given the setup that that revenues could decelerate meaningfully next year and valuation is elevated versus both history and some of Apple's largest technology competitive peers, that kind of a market weight is warranted in Apple. Tony, real quick, because we only have 30 seconds. Is this because you believe that there's going to be a multiple re-rating downwards or because you actually think that they're going to disappoint in the next year in terms of the comp? Or is it a combination Uh, effectively? it's I, I think I think revenue will be lighter than people think next year. iPhone will be weaker. And when iPhone is weaker, people start saying, you know what? Yeah, they have a great services business, but iPhone is a big driver and iPhone is hardware and hardware gets a lower multiple. And so it's ultimately the multiple consideration that worries us more rather than earnings are going to go down substantially. All right. Okay. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.